Hey, this is a little more of the story of my boxing education. So when Piggy went to New York after World War II and was signed by Chris Dundee, he was assigned a handler. <clears throat> and this guy, you know, stayed with him, moved around, helped him move around New York City. They lived at the room and house and they went to the gym every day. So <clears throat> that guy's name was Tony Conti. And when he retired, he moved here to Richmond and lived in one of Piggy's properties. And they were quite a pair. And they took me on as a project. <clears throat> and um, <laughs> I wasn't privy to the conversations between them, but um, I was the the student of both of them. So Piggy and Tony were horrified that I didn't really understand what a boxer was. I only knew about big hitters, you know, famous punchers. The fighters that I knew about from like the Ring magazine, like Joe Lewis and Sugar Ray Robinson, they were like, yeah, they were great punchers. They were the big hitters of their era but they were far from the best boxer. And that was really news to me. Still not sure I agree with them, but I took something away from what they taught me. So, of course, they very purposely did opposite training. So, Piggy's talking about, um, you know, like, stepping off and the jab and lateral movement or else smothering them and um, you know just mostly just boxing just, just footwork and snap a jab and box off the ankles meanwhile um, Tony okay, also Piggy is running a business and is you know busy so Tony's retired, he has more time. So he's meeting me at the gym. And also I go to his house once a week and sit in the kitchen and read the boxing news and talk boxing with him. Um, you know, this stuff to me was just priceless. Uh, I really, learned a lot from these men and they were really examples to me so tony has me in the gym doing slip and bang and um you know moving forward off the miss and throwing power punches and um you know body attack and the exact opposite of what piggy has been talking about So after this been going on for a while, you know, this went on for a period of years, um, uh, <clears throat> they started talking about the uncrowned champ, except there was like half a dozen uncrowned champs. But the first one Tony started talking about was Billy Graham and uh, the educated left hand. And... Um, you know, getting off first and uh, controlling the the distance and the other fighters' rhythm and uh, outboxing people who punched a lot harder. Graham was trained by Whitey Bimstein out of Stillman's gym. Piggy started talking about a different uncrowned champ, Joey Giambra. He was the exact opposite of Billy Graham. He was not getting off first and then counterpunching their response. He was waiting, 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 and then counterpunching when they would lead. He was like drawing a lead. 
and he also um, kept his hands up and they both had superior defenses and um, so it was, it was very interesting also <clears throat> Piggy had been exposed to Charlie Goldman he called him Dr. Goldman and um, the whole concept of the defensive fighter where not getting hit comes first and then striking the opponent um, so these all fit into that because like Billy Graham had a 20% knockout ratio or something he he couldn't hurt you but he could outbox you <laughs>